As Cold and Goku Black get ready to finish off the four fighters, Vegeta destroys their attack with a god final flash after turning into a Super Saiyan Blue, but he falls unconscious too. Meanwhile, some of the people of the Resistance help Yaja Robin and rescuing Goku, Trunks, Cold, and Banyu, while Mai rescues Vegeta. Mai then helps all of them return to the present, while she stays behind to hold off Zamasu, Goku Black, and Cold Black once they arrive. Bulma comes over to help Vegeta since he was injured. Regardless, in Universe 10, Zamasu and Gawasu end up watching Hits fight against Goku. Though, after he learns about the Super Dragon Balls from Gawasu, he goes to Zuna's planet and forces Zuna to tell him everything about the Super Dragon Balls. After being told about them, he also demands to be told their location and to be told about Goku and King Cold. Then back at Capsule Corporation, Bulma gives the unconscious hero sensor beans and chastises Goku when he wants to go back to the future to fight immediately. Beerus, Whis, and Shin then arrive looking for Goku and Cold. As Zuno contacted Shin saying Zamasu confronted him about the Super Dragon Balls, Goku, and Cold. This is also when Vegeta passes on the information about future Zamasu, his immortality, and Super Saiyan Rose. Meanwhile in the future, Mai must work on keeping the soldiers inspired, since they were losing hope after Goku and the others lost. Regardless, Beerus, Whis, Shin, Cold, and Goku then go to Universe 10, which is when they ask Gawasu if Zamasu has been behaving weird. Gawasu says he was, but he is now enlightened, which is when Zamasu comes out with his tea, while he is also behaving calmly. After they talk with Zamasu and give Gawasu his gift, they leave but they don't go far from Universe 10. Shin asks him how it went, which is when Beerus confirms that Zamasu plans to kill Gawasu. Back at Earth, Bulma is repairing the time machine while Vegeta was training, and Future Trunks was outside sulking for leaving Mai behind. When Trunks sees this, he would call his future self a coward, as he can't protect Mai by just sitting around like that. Trunks would then challenge him to a fight, as he turns Super Saiyan and punches his future self. Back in Universe 10, Zamasu uses his God Split Cut to kill Gawasu, so Whis rewinds time. They then go to Universe 10, with Whis putting a glove around Zamasu's hand so he couldn't kill Gawasu. As usual, Beerus explains to Gawasu that Zamasu tried to kill him, and after Whis removes the glove so his keyblade is showing, Shin explains what Zamasu's plan was. However, Zamasu then prepares to attack them, but Beerus destroys Zamasu before he can. Back on Earth, Future Trunks finally understood the lesson Trunks wanted him to learn, which is when Beerus and the others return. This is when they inform him that Zamasu was killed, and Beerus says the future should be changed now, since it is different when a god eliminates a god. Before Future Trunks can return to the present though, the heroes convince him to stay for dinner. After they finish eating, he prepares to return to the future, which Goku, Vegeta, Cold, and Banyu decide to go with him in case Zamasu is somehow still around. So, before they leave, Bulma gives them the remaining sensu beans and decides to go as well, so they then all leave together. While Bulma gives Future Mai a castle with supplies, the hero sends Goku Black, Cold Black, and Future Zamasu, so they take off towards them. When Goku tells them he found out that Zamasu used the Super Dragon Balls to create a fake Goku, Goku Black reveals that he is wrong, as he says he wished for his body to be switched with Goku, so he got to keep his heart and soul, and then he killed the Goku whose body he stole. This goes for the same timeline Cold Black came from, just with him obviously stealing Cold's body instead of Goku's. They would then explain how they managed to team up and how Zamasu is still around, which is because of the time ring. After then fighting for a little bit, they would explain the rest of their story, which is that Goku Black arrived and killed future Gawasu. Cold Black would have arrived as well, so they then went and used the Super Dragon Balls to make Zamasu immortal, before going to the other universes and killing the other Supreme Kai's. From there, they would knock away the other heroes, and they would corner Goku. While cornered, Goku Black would explain to him how he killed Goku and how he killed Chi Chi and Goten. So, Goku still gets his rage moment from this, but this just increases Goku Black's power, so he uses his Divine Lasso, thus defeating Goku. Future Trunks eventually begins fighting with Goku Black while Cold Black and Future Zamasu hold back Cold, Vegeta, and Banyu. Of course, this is when Trunks still unlocks his Super Saiyan Rage form. Once he starts fighting with Goku Black, he's putting him on the defensive. So that Zamasu and Cold Black can't intervene, Vegeta and Cold both start to fight them, with Banyu trying to help Trunks. However, Goku Black eventually gets away from Trunks and Banyu briefly, as he then helps Zamasu in jumping Vegeta, so he's defeated too. He would then repeat the process with Cold, but while Banyu and Trunks keep trying to hold them off, the heroes all retreat to the present. While Goku is put into a pod to heal, Vegeta explains to Beerus Goku Black's identity, so since Beerus was satisfied with the mystery being solved, he has Whis take him home. Eventually Goku's family arrives, along with Piccolo and Krillin, which by this point Goku has recovered, so he fills them in on everything about Goku Black. Piccolo then suggests that Goku try to learn the evil containment wave, so he goes to Kame House to have Master Roshi teach it to him, while Vegeta, Cold and Banyu go into the hyperbolic time chambers. Meanwhile in Universe 10, Beerus goes and tells Gawasu about the future not changing and how he won't go through time to fix it, so Gawasu says he will take responsibility for it. In the future, Mai tried to shoot Goku Black with a sniper, but this didn't kill him. After he found their location, 
Trunks jumped in and saved her, though he is eventually defeated and knocked unconscious. This is when the heroes, along with Bulma, arrive back in the future as she hides and they jump into the fight to save Trunks. Goku Black then destroys the time machine, but before they can fight, they are interrupted by the arrival of Kawasu and Shin. Currently, Vegeta starts fighting with Goku Black, while Cold and Banyu fights with Cold Black, and Goku fights with Future Zamasu. However, this time around, the heroes seem to be winning against the trio at first. In their fights, Goku Black and Cold Black would both make key weapons and open a rift with them. Clones of the two start to come out of the rift, but when they are attacked, they reform themselves. While they continue fighting, Trunks got the urn for the evil containment wave fixed, and he tries to learn the technique, which, he still returns to the battlefield and successfully seals Zamasu, since Goku still forgot the paper amulet, Zamasu escapes. At this point, since Zamasu's energy was dropping, Cold Black and Goku Black teleport away, which also causes the rifts and clones to disappear. Since there are three of them in this timeline, they obviously can't all fuse, so Zamasu makes the decision to fuse with Goku Black, so they become fused Zamasu. This time, the heroes wouldn't know about the Patara, as they have never used them in this timeline, so Shin and Gawasu would explain them to the heroes. Regardless, the heroes try to hold off Fuse Zamasu while Trunks escapes with Maya Bulma. Once they reach a safe location, Bulma goes back to working on repairing the time machine. Eventually, after Goku, Vegeta, Cold, and Banyu are all defeated by Zamasu, with their arms being broken, Trunks returns as a Super Saiyan Rage, though he would end up getting in a beam struggle with Zamasu, with him using a Gallic Gun. Vegeta would still join in, with the father-son Gallic Gun overpowering Zamasu's blast, though he then knocks out Vegeta with the Lightning of Absolution technique, though Goku then manages to counter his Holy Wrath when he tries to use it again, while Banyu and Cold keep trying to fight with Cold Black. Goku still manages to push his blast back, which because of hitting Zamasu in combination with his immortality not being complete after his fusion, his appearance begins to mutate, with part of his face becoming purple. While the fight continues, Zamasu eventually grabs Goku's leg and crushes it, but Goku escapes by using the Kaioken. Now that Zamasu and Cold Black would be ganging up on Cold and Banyu, they are defeated as well, so they regroup with Shin and Gawasu. At this point, Zamasu continues to power up, with his body becoming mutated like how his face did. Anyway, both Shin and Gawasu suggest the use of Atara, as it is their only option, with Gawasu explaining it lasts one hour. Since they both have a pair of Patara earrings, Goku and Vegeta can fuse with one pair while Cold and Banyu fuse with the other. So after taking the sensor beams, both pairs fuse. So we have Vegito and Koryu. Vegito would go into his Super Saiyan Blue form, while Koryu would use her Golden form, so they wouldn't want to risk going into a state of rage by using the Ruby form. Regardless, Fuse the Masu and Cold Black would be getting dominated in these fights. Though, Fuse the Masu still gets stabbed with the Spirit Sword, but he crushes it and powers up, as he grows larger in size. Meanwhile, Bola and Mai arrive since Bola finished repairing the time machine, and Mai gives Trunks his sword's hilt. As usual, he makes it into a key sword as he flies off towards the battlefield. Vegeta still tries to use the final Kamehameha against Fuse the Masu, while Koryu combines Cold's Death Beam and Banyu's Blast Cannon, so it is called the Death Cannon, which he fires it at Cold Black. This blast would finish off Cold Black, as he is nowhere near as strong as the Fused Warrior, and since he is an immortal, his soul doesn't stay around like Zamasu's did. As for Vegito, their blast didn't finish off Zamasu, but when they go to finish him off with a punch, they defuse. Koryu would have defused as well since she also used up all her energy. As Zamasu starts to beat them down and goes to finish them off, Featured Trunks comes, as he begins to gather energy from everyone. This further transforms his key sword to become the Sword of Hope, which he stabs Fuse Zamasu with and cuts him in half. The rest of his saga would essentially go the same, with Zamasu's soul filling the sky as he becomes an infinite Zamasu. Even when all the heroes try a combined blast against Zamasu, their attacks are nullified. Goku then finds a Xeno button in his pocket, and he uses it, which brings future Xeno to him. As Xeno goes to destroy the universe, Cold, Banyu, Vegeta, Goku, Trunks, Mai and Bola escape with the time machine, while Shin and Gawatu escape with the Kai Kai. Goku then returns to the future with Trunks and gets future Zeno, then after going back to the present, he has Shin take him to Zeno. Once there, he introduces Zeno to future Zeno, and Goku's introduced to the Grand Minister. Regardless, he returns to Earth, and they all have a dinner and celebration, which is when Whis tells Trunks and Mai that he can take them to a timeline where the world wasn't destroyed, but there will be another Trunks and Mai there. They all accept this, as they get ready to leave, Bulma gives them supplies as they say their goodbyes. Vegeta still tries to attack Trunks, but he is proud to see how strong his son has gotten as he dodges his punch. Gohan arrives as they are leaving, so he raises his fist to say goodbye, which reminds Trunks of his old teacher, so he begins to cry. While Gohan yells for him to take care of himself, Trunks accepts this and says one last goodbye, as he and Mai then return to the future. After this, Cold will head back to Beerus' planet when Whis and Beerus leave, as he has some training to do. He was embarrassed by the fact that his emotions got the best of him in his new form, so he's hoping that by training with Whis and Beerus more, they will be able to help him perfect this form, so that he doesn't fall into a state of rage when using it. Before they leave, 
He apologizes for losing his cool to say the least, as it only made the fight longer and harder than it had to be. After he finishes saying this, he and Bonyu then go back to Beerus' planet with the God of Destruction and his angel attendant. <laughs> 